question. And ne our next presenter is Hania Arif from University of Punjab. She will present about spatio-temporal variation in snow cover using Google Earth engine in Gilgit, Baltistan, Pakistan. Hania Arif, Ms. Hania Arif, please. Assalamualaikum. Can you see my uh, yes. yes presentation? Yes, we can see your presentation. Yes. We can listen you. Just go to the presentation mode. Yes. Yes, sir. Sir, my name is Hania Arif, and my uh, co-author is Hafiz Haroon. And this uh, work is uh, supervised by Dr. Saeed Amir Mahmood. The topic of presentation is special temporal variation in snow cover using Google Earth Engine in Gilgit, Pakistan, or Pakistan. Uh, this is the outline of uh, my presentation. Uh, Ms. Hania, please go to the presentation mode. Sir, it is. It is. Uh, yes. Yeah, yes. Yes. Okay. Go to the presentation mode. Yes. Okay. Okay. I think there is some problem. You can present. Okay. Uh, sir, my slides are visible. Yes. Visible. Okay. Okay. Uh, present. This is the outline of my presentation. When we are talking about the study area, this is our study area. This is the Pakistan, and the highlighted is the uh, GB area of Pakistan. When we are talking about the uh, when we are talking about the snow, uh, snow melt is the major element of the worldwide uh, water movement. The significance of snow melt depends greatly to the physiography of the basin and the climatic condition. Upper Indus Basin uh, contribute almost 70% of the hydrological basin uh, in overall over uh, Indus Basin uh, River. The central Kokrakram is the uh, one of the most highly glaciated area outside the polar region. Basically, the concept of this uh, uh, work is uh, the IPCC report, which have launched in. Uh, 2007, uh, they claimed that uh, glacier uh, in Pakistan glacier will be uh, vanished uh, in this earth. Uh, so that's why I am using this uh, technique uh, through Google Earth Engine, which is the mostly uh, known uh, in 2016, uh, launched in 2016. I am using the uh, Google Earth Engine with uh, different algorithms and define the snow cover uh, with respect to the different times. Uh, Indus Basin, uh, uh, our Indus Basin has. Uh, contributes 1.1 million square kilometer and it has the effects of Pakistan, India, China and Afghanistan. It has major tributaries which have the uh, Satluj, River Bias, Indus, Chelam and Chenab. When we are talking about the snow melt contribution, almost 85% uh, of uh, annual flow of Indus uh, in the uh, sub-basin of uh, Skardu, Hunza, uh, uh, Shigar, Shok, and Ganche, and uh, Khizar uh, valleys, which have the uh, sub basin of uh, Upper Indus Basin. And uh, this uh, research can help us the sex uh, status of a snow rivers on surface area basis. This is the whole, uh, upper Indus basin, uh, whole Indus Basin, and uh, this is the area of Upper Indus Basin, which have the almost uh, glacialized area. Uh, this is the, our uh, study area, which have the seven uh, sub basins: uh, Hunza, Ghizar, Gilgit, Darmeer, Skardu, Astor, uh, and Ganje. Uh, this is the hypsometry bar. Uh, when we are talking about the snow line, which have the almost uh, 5,500 meter above, and here is the snow. Uh, almost uh, every year, it has a snow area. Uh, it has the uh, this uh, show the uh, hypsometry curve. Uh, this is defined the okay, how that area is. Uh, uh, Snow trend in uh, GB in uh, 2000. Uh, we use the modest data and apply the different algorithms on it with the help of a uh, Google Earth engine and modest data set launched in uh, 18 of 2000. And that's why the general data is not available in this uh, in 2000. And uh, uh, this is the call the mean of uh, fabric March and uh, each year. And this is present the overall uh, snow area and it's the uh, trend of uh, data algorithm. Which shows that in uh, uh, 2000, uh, almost after the July, August, September is the uh, melting area, uh, melting period of uh, this area, and uh, then after the uh, up to uh, mid of 
the October, the snow uh, area is uh, start. When we are talking about the 2010, uh, snow cover in different time zone, uh, like in January, uh, February, March, April, May, and uh, up to on December. The trend of uh, 2020, when we see uh, okay, in January and February snow is not uh, uh, more the fluctuation in uh, certain uh, fluctuation in snow cover area. And this is the overall 2000 to 2020 uh, snow cover, uh, which shows the special temporal distribution when we are talking about the 16 and 17 year. Here it is the when we are uh, seen. Uh, in 16 to 18 years, that area is uh, the span of uh, snow cover is low, but the snow uh, in uh, depth is wise are high. Uh, this is the variation of snow cover in each month. When we are talking about the uh, maximum uh, time zone, the February has a maximum snow cover area and the uh, August has the minimum snow cover area and almost fluctuation is the 10% to 18%. In February, uh, almost 10 percent area is just left over uh, which have the just uh, flowing uh, water and but in august the snow cover is maximum snow cover is uh, snow uh, free area we see in, in this map miss hania uh, yes miss hania your yes. uh, your slides are not moving i think please check it yes. your slides are not moving yes sir no it's moving okay no, no, no. Please share again, I think. OK, I share it again. Yeah. Yes, now we can see. Sir, hope so. It's yes. we can see, but uh, you can uh, uh, you yes, can sir. go to the presentation mode if you can. Yes, sir. Uh, this is the variation of snow cover, which I told you uh, already. Now I have uh, used the uh, static analysis, which is known as the man candle analysis. Uh, in this slide, we shows the uh, snow cover trend of 20 years of uh, NDISI. Uh, that shows the snow cover on uh, uh, peak level uh, is reduced, but in the flow heat, the snow cover is uh, uh, pl uh, in plus points in uh, positive trend. When we are talking about the conclusion of this uh, work is uh, we use the modest data 2000 to 2020 using uh, Google Earth Engine. It found the fluctuation in trend, but not the uh, vanish uh, the whole trend, uh, yeah, whole uh, glaciers in this uh, area. Uh, and uh, the snow cover area in GB varies from to 10 to 80 percent in a year. It cover almost 80 percent during December to February and slow fluctuation. Uh, the shrink area is uh, 10 to 15 percent in June, July, August and September. The entire uh, we use the man content analysis on entire period, which is the 20 to 20, uh, 2020. And the negative trend shows the glacier is depleting, uh, uh, depleting and the positive value shows the uh, on uh, foothill of the glacier, which shows the uh, a trend of uh, foothill is almost uh, uh, same uh, in our whole uh, trend in uh, 20 years. This is the whole concept of this work. Thank you. OK, thank you, Miss Ania. You have finished your presentation well in time. And you have given valuable information about the variation in snow cover in northern areas. Thank you very much.